Epic Podcast Bros, uh, episode 34. We're back again. Yes, indeed. Another episode. That's how you are. <laughs> yeah. I heard you breathing heavy. Well, me and Julian just, just went at it. They went toe to toe. toe yeah. Yeah. They went tip for tat. <laughs> we went eye for eye. Um, now this whole podcast is blind. Yeah. We got to my right, we got... Uh, Sam. Hello. To my left, we got Julian. Say what's up. Got Julian right here. What's up? We got a uh, Matt, ex um, ex ex podcast host. Uh, to my far left. Go Hello, everyone, and uh, that's Carson. Yeah, uh, I Carson. don't I don't know if you said your name. I'll just I don't think sure. I did. I'm Carson. You guys know me. I didn't think I, uh, an intro was warranted. Uh, you know, podcast host as always. If you guys didn't you guys know, know that, that's Carson. You, you know, this is you know, it's my channel. Because you guys don't know who Carson is. This is Carson. <laughs> And but, no, this uh, is the first episode he's been on. How y'all been, man? Long time no see. What has it been? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks? Any Anything good? Uh, Usually no. Still no. You guys, uh, a lot of sports happened this week. You guys you guys been keeping up with the, the basketball playoffs, NBA? No. Let's I go Warriors. the scores the day after they happened. Yeah, yeah. And by how nice they won. Seen that John Morant dunk. I was paying cool. attention to F1. That's it. Nice. I watched F1 last Sunday. That was pretty sweet. What is that? That, is that, that button racing? on your yeah, keyboard? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> He's just staring at that keyboard. That F1, yeah, that just like it makes my keyboard light up. <laughs> 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 I like it when it flashes. <laughs> nah, it's the racing, like the uh, Formula yeah, racing. Formula One. Yeah, yeah. I was like, is that is that NASCAR? <laughs> no, Formula is like the fucking. Now they they turn left and right too. They don't just go. Oh, they gotta go hella <laughs> different directions. <laughs> yeah. It's those cars that like Damn, you know, they, they, go only both, <laughs> they go both they directions. Go both they like crazy. only seat one person. They look like fucking <laughs> scary crazy. race cars. Like if, if you're only like oh, going yeah, one go like two direction, miles like, an hour the whole time. You get yeah. your alignment hella off to where you like you go around corners at like eighty. Do those corners like a good? You know what I mean? If you're only going one direction, mm-hmm. you kind of tweak your alignment to where your like, steering wheel is kind of <laughs> rigged up like that. He like weighs like. Weights in his left hand, so I think he doesn't have to like put effort into it. And I love you, it's tired. Like, that's how you train. He's got someone in the backseat. That's back how you train, seat, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, I've been in a plane before where they had like they had to move a bunch of people around to like balance out the weight. Fuck. Like a I would have got off that plane. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would have. to fly I, I would have, but they upgraded my seat. <laughs> so I was like. How could I turn that down? Well, the extra you, leg room. You bro? guys didn't account for people on your plane. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a little <laughs> in weird. <the> air <laughs> you guys don't have to put your weight in when you uh, get your tickets <laughs> for your plane. We're not as big as you are, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's got to give them a warning. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's got to let them know five business days before. <laughs> <laughs> let them know so they could move all the cargo to the <laughs> opposite yeah. side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, when you get a prospect on your plan, you have to make sure that they have the best seat is all. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, emergency exit. You get the leg room near the wing. Oh, I that one on where the they wing. like have to give you instructions just in case and, uh, shit goes I'm, down. I'm not allowed to sit that? by those anymore. Nah, I don't think I, I think I'd choose not to because I don't think I'd be that reliable. No, yeah, I'd be like, now. everybody would be like panicking. I'd be like fumbling at the fucking lock yeah. and shit. <laughs> 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 just like that. Just I'm just trying to, to like punch through the window. <laughs> Try to put on your life jacket. But uh, round one of the I'm stealing like everybody's air things. <laughs> <laughs> you keep breaking. It's <laughs> <laughs> just like gravity crushing your hand. I got too excited. <laughs> I got too excited. I got too excited. You gotta hold on to those, man. Yeah, yeah, he's just grabbing him to hold him for ransom. <laughs> yeah. Give me your peanuts and I'll give you a breathing apparatus. That's how you make it on those flights. On those uh, stranded flights. <laughs> yeah, it turned into like a whole lost thing. Legitimately, yeah. how long do you guys think you'd last like on one of those stranded flight things? Like on an island, you mean? Before you have to start killing people. On an island? Yeah. I could go hell along without killing people, damn. Well, well, I mean, but once once the murderous them. intent comes in, I wouldn't be able to. Resist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's outside. And once the voices get going, because you're stranded, yeah, on the island, just by yourself. No, 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 no. A plane crash. Your plane crash is like. How and everyone survives this plane crash. No. I've watched I'd find the biggest dude survival. I could. And yeah, I feel like with <laughs> multiple people, that's when it gets iffy. 
Because yeah, it's yeah, like people might yeah, some yeah. people probably go crazy. At least one person's gonna go crazy. Well, exactly. And that, that oh, I killed him because I thought he was gonna kill me, and then uh, and I'm not the, the bad <laughs> guy. And then you have to kill him. That's where the murder sentence sits in. And then everybody's like, "Why did you kill him?" And then they put you on trial and stuff. So you gotta kill it's, him. It's, it's a it's judge. Only, yeah, it's a judge. It's only something. been like thirty yeah. minutes, and there's already like a rescue it team on the way. Just landed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm already like killing people. You didn't even fall that far from civilization. <laughs> and the island is San Diego. I'm like. <laughs> You guys are on uh, Staten Island. <laughs> How long do you guys think you last in Staten Island? I think I could go like a couple minutes before I'd kill myself. Bro, you never heard of a bodega? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta eat your bodega, cat. There's no food here. <laughs> <laughs> I sell food. Stop eating my cat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stranded on an island by yourself then. How, how long do you guys think you guys got? Just until, like you have no like food, I really hurt you have to catch all your food. You use fishing opportunities. You I can fish. Like cast away. I can, I think I Cause can I always see on those survival it. shows, there's like one dude who always like fucking breaks his ankle or some shit. <laughs> so I, mm. I think like once that happens, I'm done. I think with most people, yeah. Unless you already got like food stocked up. If you're a coward. I, I'd, I'd be able. I'd manage. I'd, I'd probably fall off a like a high ass tree trying to get some fruit or some shit. <laughs> The best ones grow at the top. Because <laughs> I think if I was, I think if I was stranded, I wouldn't be able to catch a fish. That's fair. That you wouldn't, you wouldn't go spear hard, fishing. I, I I wouldn't just, have a spear. I just stick spear? my fist in there and wait for one of them to bite. Yeah, they, they'd come. Pull it out. There's just a shark on you. <laughs> Dinner. <laughs> it's eating your arm. I'm a good guy, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat get him. Mine. Yeah. Absolutely, that's the mindset you, you need. Run out of limbs to offer those sharks. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of using like the last shark you killed for bait, you use yourself still. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, using, your foot in the I'm water. using my my limbs as chum. <laughs> and that's the one the real fishing begins. That first shark mangled my hand into chum. I got to <laughs> start using that. And then that's, do you, that's good bait. <laughs> do you guys know how to make a fire? I don't think I'd be able to. I can, I can bro. Do it. it depends what environment I was in you're the in. Cub Scouts. Were you really? Yeah. You never seen Julian tie a knot? This guy Cubs got Cubs got written all over him. And uh, you know, like bear is one of them. Do you, would you really be? Are you confident in your fire starting skills, bro? If I had like what is it? The two sticks? Things? If I had like a like just rubbing those together, you could start a fire. Use flint and steel. Yeah, I could. You're gonna find steel just Easy. stranded. Yeah. That was a steel in my like pocket. A situation Sam starts like, like a mine a so he can get some stuff. steel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I, don't I, I, start start picking, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think trees. just like sticks and like a rock. I don't think I could start a fire. It's like I, like on the survival shows, they always do the bow drill thing. Yeah, where they put like rope and like oh it's yeah, basically like rubbing a stick, but there's like a device you can. It, it's yeah, it's you, way faster. Yeah, and it's like zzz, zzz, zzz. yeah, you can oh, do that. I'm, I'm good at this part though. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, when you make it get bigger, <laughs> you guys need but Julian to finish your fire off. Stuff. Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to start a fire. I, could, I start fires. Yeah, I'd, like, I'd have to eat everything like raw. Fireplace. Yeah, Julian starts fires at like places all the time, like uh, grocery stores and stuff, right? Exactly out in the back when I'm trying to just chill, <laughs> <laughs> just for fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's just, just like my skills, guys. Come on, it's like liquor stores and stuff like that, right? <laughs> what if I get stranded one day? <laughs> <laughs> it's all in <laughs> preparation. That's I'm gonna send that into Naked and Afraid. Have you watched that show? They all do like footage videos before they're like practicing, they're, like in their backyard making tents. <laughs> was it like fucking American Ninja like, Warrior? Making it, basically, it's that's like, weird. Actually, naked now that I think afraid, about it, Naked like... and Afraid is like, like survival Ninja Warrior basically, because they're like. They get like it's twenty one days. Have you guys, it, do you guys know the premise of that show? No, I know the show, but I mean, I, I, know that, I, I thought it. that was the premise. of the naked in the <laughs> grandma, They throw you in the wild and you're naked, and you have to like survive a certain amount and they of just days. Keep scaring you, and it's hilarious because like <laughs> that'd be good. Because <laughs> like they always like at the beginning of each show they always say something about the like sexual tension or whatever. You know, like I'm married. There's something like that. Like they just come out quickly. They're like. The guy's like, yeah, I'm single. I feel like everybody would be so right. grimy. There would be like... Disgusting. Yeah, no there's no type of sexual attention. attention. Yeah. Exactly. But some of them have to like... They get so cold because they can't start a fire <laughs> in the middle of the night because they're all naked. They have do to Do they like... ever bang? Like in the show? No, I, I they... don't die. No. No, no they do not. <laughs> so why do they even normal. mention sexual attention if yeah. it's like never Because they're an, naked and they're idea. in the same hut together. There's like the first thing you see when they gotta you They got to be more, more like... afraid. Yeah. I'd be more afraid than naked. But that's the thing though. I think it's like... um. But you got worms. Nah, there's like a thing. It's called I think it's called like 
<laughs> suspension bridge something to where like they confuse the feeling of being afraid as like being in love. What? It's something like that. That's like a normal thing that it's happens. Like Stockholm syndrome. But like the best thing that happens in that show to me is like when someone's like, I can't fucking do it. I haven't eaten or drinking it in a week. <laughs> and they just tap out and the one guy. They just, just like, jump in the ocean. And the other person keeps going and they finish it. Yeah, I think I'd That's be able crazy. I'd be able to starve myself for like twenty one days. You could live off that. Because a lot of them do. They basically like But if you I've have the option to quit drink water for the river. And drinking like, seawater, yeah. I've, I've never been one days. to tap. A dysentery from fucking but, drinking uh, exactly. fucking mud Time water. out. Do you get a cash prize if you survive? No, you get a handshake from Bear Grylls. No, you get to leave with your life. You get like a survival score. They're like, this person, this <laughs> survival, person's survival score. score went up point five. <laughs> this person went down because they quit the first week. It's hilarious, honestly. It's like, could you guys I haven't do a week? It in a while. I don't know if they still do it. They could you guys one... do a week in Naked and Afraid? Oh, yeah. I think I You'd could. be able to starve and like barely drink and make gets, it. It's yeah. me is like. Like they like get the mad sexual tension. In their feet. <laughs> the sexual tension them, would, would they don't get just me through. Put them out like in a forest. But they practice, like in right? Yosemite, they put them out in like the middle of like the Amazon. Yeah. Like crazy places. Wait, what'd you say? Yeah, I've, I've always thought about that, like being barefoot. Oh like, my god, I, I would I would have no mobility. Bro. That's what they talk about, like immediately too. Is like I think wherever wherever I land, that's my camp. Yeah, like mosquitoes are <laughs> not going my anywhere. In my butt cheeks right now, and I can't sit down. <laughs> Got like mosquitoes like, inside of Oh, that's me. what gets them too is the bug bites. So they're sitting there like dehydrated and like getting Be bit by, by bugs. bugs like, yeah. They like itch like crazy. <laughs> they like their skin burns. Why does anyone do that shit? <laughs> yeah, it <doesn't laughs> sounds like, awful. Like, no, I just want to test myself. There's no gain. Like they're like, that's what I'm saying. They're like in their backyard. Like I'm a survival. No, some of them are like survival. Uh, I would do it. Shit. And like it's cool when you find uh, out the ones that like aren't real like survival teachers. They just yeah. show people how to like use a flint and steel sometimes or like use a fishing rod or something you know what i mean but then there's the ones that are like legit and those are the ones that usually like if they like their partner taps out they go by themselves that's dope or like, some people have like carried their partner like they brought them like food and water mm. the whole time so it sounds like you've seen a lot of this do you think because yeah. you watched it you'd be able to last a long time with your cub scout experience with and with a partner, I like, like the listing Cubs Julian's Cubs like resume for yeah. survival. Yeah. His credentials, Cub Scouts, his credentials. I think, I think Bear Scouts. Yeah. <laughs> Julian's not yeah. sure. Maybe Bear Scouts. No, no, Bear just... Scouts? Question mark. <laughs> yeah, no, that was just one of them, bro. That was just one of the levels. Grandparents have a cabin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I think I could. Has last, been outside? Like, question mark. I like if I really had. Nothing's Elden Ring. Sure, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just sitting there and just doing. Outside nothing. sometimes? Question mark. Because that's basically maybe. You said a week. Yeah, because basically you just had to sit there and chill. If his environment is anything like Elden Rings, thirsty. he'd beast it out and like, oh my god, yeah. I if think I'd get Elden bored. There, I would like, I could easily go with no food. I'd be good. You come back with like some dope ass armor. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> I, I made this, so I was like, I just got bored and just got super icy all of a sudden with all this inspiration. I got a medieval inspiration. What the fuck, Julian? We put you in the Amazon. How'd you come back with Blade's armor and Blade's armor? <laughs> How'd you come back with the dragon? I, was, yeah, yeah. I just went in this cave and I don't know, I just came out with this. Well, Julian not only went crawled. into the, <laughs> I was dungeon crawling. He not only went into the wood, but he came back with a grafted dragon arm. I'll come back battle hardened, bro. Right? Yeah, yeah. But what? yeah, what's I think what the good part about that show is like what keeps it interesting is why it was going for so long is that like people almost never did good. Hmm. You know what I mean? They were like, Yeah, we killed that. <laughs> You know what I mean? They're like, we barely made it out alive. Like, yeah, they're, they're all like that. 20 pounds lighter. Yeah, exactly. no, they, oh, no, that's yeah, what happens definitely. too. They yeah. lose like a ton of weight. Like the dudes always lose like 40 pounds or 30 pounds and the girls lose like 25. It's crazy. Well, yeah, maybe like, they need to lose a few though, if I'm right. Yeah, they're, uh, they're uh, weight cutting. They're trying, they got to fight. In four weeks. <laughs> oh, going to go fight after That's their day. diet <laughs> plan. They get dropped into the Amazon for a week. So I'm just trying to get in shape. That's the real reason why they're going out there. That's what I thought about too. I was like, if I wanted to lose weight, I'd just go on naked and afraid. <laughs> like, be forced not to eat. I think the fear of having to be on TV naked would make me get in shape, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that too, huh? Yeah, like, I know weird. they censor they the always, privates, but like... Bits, though. Mm -hmm. I'm just... The bug bites... We need an uncensored, I hate huh? Yeah, the bug bites actually, are actually, I, Maybe I wouldn't be able to do it at all. Do we need an uncensored? I don't think I want to. they go into, like, jungles with the big bugs, you know? Like... Yeah, fucking like the ants that are like those big fuckers the down in the ants. swamps. Yeah, what was that bite? There's like fucking bullet ants and stuff like that too that aren't very big, but their venom is fucked. Oh, and they make yeah, they like 
people have gotten. I don't think there's been many like animal attacks or nothing to people. It's usually just like they. Because for sure they'd have to stop that, like the mm-hmm. producers, right? Or the what it is is, is they there like a cameraman that follows them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What are they? Oh eating? no! Yeah, yeah, there's like a there's like a he's also, he's also naked. Is also naked. <laughs> 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 it's just like, the, wait, the sexual like, tension is I killing wanna, me. I just want to make you more comfortable and like because there's like two kids. They like they start separate, right? Uh-huh. So like they meet together. One of them's clothed and one of them's not. Like just like I thought all the cameramen were going to be naked. <laughs> nah, that didn't come out right. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, naked and yeah. afraid sounds. I would fucked. like eat hella pop tarts in front of them and like <laughs> purposely throw one in front of them. Like, oops, I dropped that. Oops, <laughs> how bad do you want? Real you food. Grab, you grab that. <laughs> give up, give up, and you can eat that. Don't tell anybody. The cameraman just wants to improve his survival score. And make, <laughs> yeah. make the other people tap first. Who do you think could last the longest out of us in the wild? Right here. You. Yep. Julian, I'd I say Julian. I think I could that Cub Scouts is gonna fucking come in handy. Carson just starving <laughs> himself and Julian making a fire. I don't know. I don't know who would win. I'm, I'm not tapping in 21 days, though. I guarantee you that. <laughs> You'd not be capable of tapping in 21 days. <laughs> I give up, but I just can't move. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh... Carson's survival score is skyrocketing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Help me. He had absolutely no experience before. I think JT this. would be pretty good at it. Yeah. Oh, he could fish, right? Yeah, he's got what the fishing. I mean, when he's on a fucking fishing yacht, <laughs> yeah, <it's awesome. laughs> he, he yeah. could probably make like a makeshift uh, crab trap. <laughs> I reckon well, he goes at his pews. There's also that fucking possibility that he's dropped somewhere that there's no fucking fishing opportunity at all. That's what happens too. They're like, I know how to make like fishing desert. cages, and yeah. I know how to make all these like fishing traps, and then they put it and they get no fish the whole time. Like I, I trained he for also weeks like had hunting the, uh, like a like a specific ass animal, like a. I can only hunt deer. Like or, yeah, yeah. Or something. Yeah, they're only like accustomed to uh, like hunting animals in like northern Oregon. Yeah. He went keto though, like so urban he's got that. <laughs> he's got that keto discipline. He's got a, a carb deficit. Yeah, like right if now. any of us hit ketosis on well, that island, <laughs> we'd probably all die. I don't. I think JT would just get up and hunt. <laughs> Yeah, he yeah. just, that's when he get his boost, his adrenaline. Fuck, I keep only finding fats and no protein <laughs> or no carbs. What if um, all, all, all six of us went naked and afraid? What is that, six? No, it's, yeah, six of us. They did a team one one time. Yeah. Should we simulate that? Like, but that shit was like two In months. Matt's room. <laughs> I think I would just hold us back. Like if there was something we had to swim across, I would be done. Uh, well, no, yeah, I, I, I think I think I think what Carson says is oh, really true. One of the that where you land is where you're gonna set up camp. They walk through like swamp, like swamp rivers. I, I wouldn't bro, be like, able to stuff. do that. They're like, bro. They're, like well, like in like, the neck high, just, like, dude, that should make me like, puke. Well, in, in some parts, like, like, I, I, I like I tap. You said the Amazon, bro. Like I'm thinking the Amazon River wouldn't even touch that. Yeah, they got crazy fish and like climbed and dig holes. Goliath tiger fish and shit, bro. Yeah, dude, they have those 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 fish that fly into your cock hole. I'm, I wouldn't piss for 21 days, bro. <laughs> like, dude, it's <laughs> fucked. Like, in, in the, I think specifically in the Amazon, they have those fucking yeah. things. And there's, yeah, that's fucked. That's but, fucked. Amazon. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think Car- what Carson said is fairly that's, true. That's fucked up to drop him there. <laughs> yeah. Drop him right into Jeff Bezos' lap. <laughs> but, um, like, where you land is where you're going to set up camp. Because you're not going to want to stray too far. Just because of the fucking fact of having to trek somewhere, being completely fucking naked is going to suck. Yeah. I don't know. I'd find an Arby's somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> find a hotel. Matt would sniff out a Jack in the Box, and we'd be all good. I find a McDonald's. I'm like, what y'all mean y'all make Flurry Machine broken? <laughs> I haven't eaten forty days because the ice cream machine at McDonald's is broken. <laughs> Can I trade you this bow and arrow? Yeah, imagine day? being like <laughs> just a super big eater out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would just keep banking on winning the little McDonald's Monopoly thing. <laughs> <laughs> You, on, you, free you, fries, free you, fries. You only eat fucking uh, your, your deer medium rare, but you keep accidentally overcooking it, so you toss it. <laughs> Don't even use it as bait. You just no throw it out. fucking seasonings out here? Oh, that's going to that's gonna be dry, dude. Let's throw that out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think with all six of us, we could do it pretty easily. I think we'd figure something out. But then out. that's more people that's you got to feed. more food. Too. I think we but then Carson says he doesn't have to eat for 21 days, yeah. so we don't have to feed we him. Just, we just split his rations in there. Yeah. He'll be all right. <laughs> like I'm a beach dolphin <laughs> or something. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> oh fuck! It's been three days. Give him a we just keep water. throwing like, water. I really perk up when you guys do that. Yeah, yeah. 
It's been three days. Give Carson his fucking weekly water. <laughs> Me and Ed did used to watch Man vs. Wild a lot, though. Man vs. Wild is pretty classic. My grandma always used to see me watching that because she's super into reality TV. Like, you know, he goes to hotels in the middle of the night, right? That's the one <laughs> I was fuck? like. Grandma quit hating. Grandma quit hating him. That's when I was a Cub Scout, too, probably. He'd also only be there for like two days, wouldn't he? Like, it wouldn't be very long. I think he'd have to get like from point A to point B. Yeah, he yeah, had I think a lot of the shit is stuff. staged. Like but he's, he's, regardless of his stage, he's still very knowledgeable about it. I found a wild animal that's still He kills a lot killed. of snakes on that show. <laughs> yeah. And also, I think. Oh, and I'm not going to lie, too. like, you wouldn't put, like, an enema of, like, water up your butt unless you, like, really needed it. And then oh, drink your own pee real. unless you really that's had to. Yeah. Stuff a bubbler. Have you heard about That's what Australians call that. What? When they piss in their own mouth. <laughs> they call it a, a bubbler. Because that's so... what they call water fountains. <laughs> <laughs> that's just something they do it's crazy that's, really. that's just something they I don't, do I don't think it'd be very hard to filter it first <laughs> so like just like getting it straight from the source is pretty crazy <laughs> oh, yeah. all it's hot un- <laughs> unlimited water hack <laughs> got, a, got a bubbler right here <laughs> oh mate he's having his fourth bubbler is he fucking crazy I think your, your piss would like grills, increasingly get like darker and darker and darker as you yeah. keep doing that you <laughs> less and less like, hydrated yeah. it's like putting the same oil you use in your car back <laughs> yeah. in your car for an oil change <laughs> Carson's at three days he needs a water change <laughs> didn't he say salty when he drank his own piss mmm salty that's what he said no no exactly like, oh salty oh that's thick <laughs> <laughs> that's rancid <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that camera guy hydrating he's offering threw away all the water <laughs> camera guy's naked cause he's, he thinks he's on the road on a different show he just, no he just I thinks he has just a for the wrong show he just thinks he has a show with bear girls so he's naked <laughs> sexual tension right it's hot out here get your clothes off too <laughs> just takes his clothes I was looking Come for on. food but then I found love and he just <laughs> yeah. starts kissing the cameraman <laughs> No, yeah, that'd be a fucked gig to be, like, the cameraman and have to, like, do the same survival shit. Yeah, th- yeah they're, like, like, survival people, too. Yeah, exactly. Really? If you have all the, like, amenities, it's still probably gonna suck if you're, like, a regular cameraman. Yeah. You gotta be into that. It's basically like getting a tour. That's why they just gotta have, like, <laughs> hover drones, like, recording the whole thing. He just has a GoPro and a selfie stick. Like, you gotta, you're the only one out there, you gotta control, like, the drone. Yeah, to, like, as you walk. like, record yourself, do stuff. <laughs> that's like what survivor man did wasn't that guy wasn't that his name survivor, survivor man, man? what that. is that that was like the knockout bear girls who filmed himself because that's more legit i'm got a camera guy i just do this all by myself i am the camera guy for bear girls there's people that do that on youtube now you ever watch those no i i'm sure that they do it on youtube i haven't come across that or like the truck sleeping people who have like a house I, in their truck. I have seen that <laughs> the truck drivers and shit they fucking like I just like to go camp out on How the long can I last in here? <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. I saw a dude do like on YouTube, like I got recommended. <laughs> like the truck driver's like run hours run out. <laughs> he just goes back to his house. But yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> but he goes like he's trying to survive in his truck for the night with just candles <laughs> to night? keep him hot. But he's in like 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 single degree temperature. Oh fuck. Mm-hmm. I just thought he was gonna die from like carbon monoxide poisoning. What the fuck? His truck was running. Nah, the fucking candle smoke. Oh, because he had like a hundred oh, candles going. That's a real bro. thing. Like, I fucking I lit a candle because the power was out, and then I fucking fell asleep. <laughs> and then I, I I woke up, and then like I didn't even did see any close? smoke or anything. My door was closed. I opened my door, and then like I was just kind of walking about, and then the fucking smoke alarm went off. <laughs> you got out of his room. His eyes were all yellow. <laughs> Yeah, I learned my lesson. I'm more lightheaded now. <laughs> Did I just hit vape? Everything? Dead <laughs> air. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this is dumb. Uh, you were saying you you were watching something on YouTube. You saw oh, the truck driver survival uh, guy. Yeah, he lit hella candles in his car to keep him warm. No, no, but what's the the survival guy thing? The dude who records himself. 
Oh, Survivor Man. Survivor Man, yeah. Yeah, he just goes. Out. He just like Bear Grylls does, but like with does his it, own camcorder, basically. But he just goes like um. Wait, it's so like they'll chill in this place. He like, got the, the truck driver got stranded yeah. and or he was doing nah, it on his own and he, he just had hella like, candles. Nah, he's one of those like people who lives in the back of his truck. In the trailer. <laughs> not nah, like not nah, not even in the trailer. Like in a he gets like a in the in the show. cab. Like in the camper show, like he's got mm. like a bed and like drawers with like cookie stuff. That's in pretty it. cool. And that's like his his hobby. That's pretty sweet. It's a fucked up hobby. I mean, he had like a million views or something, so I was like, okay, you're getting paid for this. Maybe thing. I should get in on this. Yeah, exactly. I was like, this would be easy. I could do this with a Subaru. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Living out of my Subaru, twenty four hours real. Subaru life. <laughs> it's just you go in a different drive just to sleep in your car that's basically what they do they just go to like a parking lot and they're just like camping <laughs> it's like camping he's like talking about like how he's on like the verge of death and just like people walking around and stuff yeah. <laughs> that's really true yeah <laughs> no, they're dying from carbon monoxide poisoning <laughs> in the back of his truck <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make it through the night and there's like a family of four behind him <laughs> It's like broad daylight. Yeah, yeah, it's the middle of the day. He's in the parking lot of a Whole Foods. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'm going to make it. I can't eat vegan. <laughs> All I've got is Trader Joe's and <laughs> fucking... All I got are JoJo's. They're not even Oreos. <laughs> JoJo's. JoJo's and frozen chicken tikka masala. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, all the time, bro. The vegan chicken masala. Oh, and the mini tacos. Putting hella candles under your tikka masala, <laughs> trying to warm it up. Plastic. Oh man, the food is caked onto the tray. <laughs> there's, a, there's a thick, thick case on top of plastic. <laughs> Adds I, a bit of flavor. <laughs> I didn't take it out of the packaging. <laughs> like the saran wrap, melted on top of it. <laughs> So, uh, today's, uh, Saturday. Let's go. The first round of the basketball playoffs are done, and, uh, mine and Carson's bracket's already ruined. <laughs> it's crazy, we- like, you could have just picked all the overdogs, and that would be a perfect bracket. There's probably hella perfect brackets out right now, because all the, um, the higher-seeded teams won. I think, uh... Sam's is ruined too. I think. I think he. I think he chose like the Bulls Pelican. over the Bucks. He got yeah, Pelicans, and the Pelicans too. too. The Pelicans did almost beat the Suns though. Well, those guys let me down. About? We both said the Celtics were going to lose. Mm. But uh, do you watch basketball, Julian? Well, I mean, I just kind of pay attention to how the Warriors are doing, so I don't know anything about basketball. Well, you think they're going to win the second round? Who are they playing? The Grizzlies. Didn't they lose to them a couple years ago in the playoffs or something? Last yeah. year in the play But that's just one game. They're way better. And we also year. didn't. They, they got like they got a guy who's. We like, didn't have Clay and Jordan Poole wasn't that good guy. last year. That's the guy. He's like he's like a, they drafted that guy right. Yeah. Uh, Jordan Poole. Yeah. So yeah, I think they got that guy's like I mean, developing we, right. He's like we drafted him like scores now. We drafted right? Poole like three years ago, but he was like dog shit. He's having his year. breakout year, yeah. But they have like multiple people who can like score a lot of points, right? Just in case like. That's pretty valuable, right? Yeah. I don't know much about Absolutely. basketball, but... Points are value, valuable, you're right. I think that factors into, like, winning. But, like, guys have been built for, like, 30, yeah, sometimes, though. Like, yeah. Can't, like... Didn't, like, in a playoff game recently, like, like him, Jordan Poole, Clay Thompson, and, like, Steph Curry score, like, 100 points combined or something crazy? I believe it. Something like, like that. Like, 70-something. Like, yeah. they all had, like, yeah. 25 or something. Like, that's shit. crazy, yeah, yeah, right? That's fucking nuts, yeah. So, uh, Warriors Grizzlies, uh, Warriors Grizzlies, who y'all taking? I think Warriors got it. Warriors beating the Glizzies. Warriors. Yeah, I got Warriors. Who I think, playing? uh, what's that? Who is Celtics playing? Bucks, the Bucks. Right? The Bucks. Who do, you, who do you got on that one? Well, I got the Bucks. Like the Bums, am I right? I, I'm taking Celtics. He's just trying to reverse jinx his team every, <laughs> every playoff match. Nah, I, I didn't think the Nets were going to be that bad. That was pretty atrocious. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Like, that was the one I was like, oh, Nets take and They're the only team that got sweeped. Swept. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the only winless team in the playoffs, yeah. Mm. But the Nets, they didn't really have, uh, like, the Celtics could sag off Claxton and, like, Bruce Brown. And Claxton was, like, awful from the free throw line, so they could just foul him, and then he just kept missing. That's yeah, a good yeah. strategy. But um, 
the Bucks, they got a lot of shooters, and the fucking Nets were killing us with fucking Seth and Drogic and Patty Mills. And the Bucks got like every single person on their team can shoot. So I don't really see how we're going to handle that. And uh, it depends when Chris Middleton comes back because he's injured. Is he out? Yeah, I think he's going to miss like the first two games officially. Okay. Then they're going to check him after. Day to day kind of thing. Yeah. But I think Drew Holiday is like hella slept on. Didn't uh, didn't beat? Is he gonna be like out for a little bit? Cause he got like a concussion. And the he uh, like yeah, his yeah. He, he broke his fucking uh, what's it called the uh, what's it called the oh he thing? broke that shit. He, he like he, fractured he some something. Shit in his he fractured too, but he but broke through that. He doesn't have to get surgery, but He's he has to miss a certain mask. amount of games because concussion <laughs> protocol. Is the thumb that important for basketball? If you're shooting. Not really, huh? Well, I don't know. Just use that four finger sign. But your shit's gonna be awful. No, it hurt though. Like I, I imagine that shit hurting. Like catching like a, a pass or something. Yeah. They probably got mad pain medication they can give them for that beforehand. Isn't that what all the football players do before games? They got mad PEDs like, to give shoot them. Shoot me up with. Uh, yeah, like yeah, but not PED <laughs> opioids. What's the fucking? There's there's like a shot in in uh, football that I know they Epidural? do. Epidural. Like Epidural. Yeah, that one's fucked. Epidural. Yeah. Alvin Kamara got it before fantasy, and I was like yeah. trying to trade him off, but then he ended up having like Fucking, uh, the best season ever. One of our coaches in football was talking about how uh, he played when he was playing in college. One of his uh, teammates, like, uh, instead of sitting out because he fucked up his ankle, he, he took an ep- epidural. Isn't that what you do when you're pregnant and you're yeah, having a baby? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Then fucking, what's it called? He, he he got the epidural instead of um, you know, opting out because he, he was like really trying to play in the he's NFL. Getting busted open during the game. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Can you like, imagine the, like what's being in like, like a uh, like a <laughs> I don't know. What they're How would like, you even play? Aren't you like completely numb? Can you even move after crazy. that? It's crazy. They shoot that right into your spine, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Uh, it's like painful to get. That's how good of a painkiller. But it like, is. Um, imagine like you're at the, uh, you're at the hospital and there's just a room full of pregnant ladies and like Alvin Kamara, all, <laughs> waiting, all waiting for the same treatment. Yeah. They're like, what's he getting out of his body right now? <laughs> the pain. <laughs> Make it go away. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't know they could even do that. Yeah, dude, the NFL's fucked that. up. They just give them a hell of pain. They pay a doctor enough, they'll do anything for you. Yeah. <laughs> give you an epidural right in your lung. <laughs> <laughs> do they do Tyrod Taylor? <laughs> Pregnancy painkillers for football? I got you. They stab fucking Tyrod Taylor in his lung. Oh, yeah, trying to give him like a like a, one of those pain shots, right? Something like that. That's crazy. Because he got like pain in his peck or something. Shoulder. That's so fucked up. And it's like they're like, they're like oh, guys, ODing. <laughs> Stop moving so much. He said it still. How do you puncture the lung? You go through like your whole chest, your whole like your rib cage and, and everything. He's yeah. probably not that skinny too. He's like no, he's a fucking football player. Is yeah. that like yeah. break a rib? You gotta. I don't know if you break a rib, but you could like. There's no, like there's between. like a chest plate, no? Yeah. yeah. Maybe you got a chest wall, bro. You got the ribs and the muscle between. Between but, like, rib, he, yeah. Like, I feel like the odds of hitting, like, muscle or rib is, like, 50-50. You just gotta jab it in there a little bit more. <laughs> I gotta put a little bit more force. And also, like, right next to each other, like, I wouldn't know where to stab someone, like, right in the heart. Like, for a clean one hit. <laughs> like, <laughs> You're trying to kill somebody? <laughs> yeah. One shot. Like, I, a I'm little to, to the left. Right to, oh, that was long. Let me try again. Yeah. Like, I, I Y- y'all you didn't take an epidural before coming in the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I had to take once I could eat these hot fries. They're <laughs> fucking spicy, dude. No, that's exactly why I got those. Is because like I wanted to get a chip. I couldn't. You wanted eat to feel sitting. something. <laughs> no, I didn't want to eat it all in one sitting. So I was like, I gotta stop in the middle of me eating hot Cheetos. My mouth is. Oh no, I eat them and I just like feel even worse. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you just get flaming, flaming hot. That red, red dye. You get like that one chip challenge you, thing. Oh yeah, the the ghost pepper chips. <laughs> it's, it's only one chip. I only gotta eat half of this. I just I can't stop eating them. Yeah. Did you guys like, do that? No. I thought you guys said something about you guys doing some hot shit. Carson did the, that. Some the, hot boy the shit. Two times noodles. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we were we were pretty consistent with the two times noodles for a minute. We let off because of uh, not wanting to die. Not me. Yeah, Carson still eats uh, two times noodles. He just takes an epidural before. Yeah, yeah, he just. <laughs> No, I can get this down. <laughs> Doctor, you gotta write me a note. <laughs> For these two times spicy noodles. For these flaming hot, these flaming hot noodles. He's like, give him a double dose. <laughs> He's gonna need it. 
double dose and also Xanax, please. <laughs> but uh, Heat Sixers, who y'all got? I got Heat. It depends on how long them beads out. I go Heat. I think even with them, they were gonna struggle. But even he's probably gonna miss I'll like say, two games. I'll say heat, because my friends were saying Heat. Jimmy Butler's on the Heat, right? Attaboy. Yeah, and they got my boy PJ Tucker. PJ Tucker. I'm Who's gonna that? go Miami Heat because I like their uh, their alternate jerseys. Okay, I'll go. I'll go. Um, <laughs> what's the other team? MB, uh, Sixers. Sixers. I'll go Sixers then since everybody. I'll go MB. And then uh, Maverick Suns. Who y'all got? Suns. I'll take Maverick. I got Luca from Top Gun, right? No, from uh, Logan Paul's podcast. Oh, the Maverick. Oh, definitely the Maverick Suns. I got the uh, the Suns. Wait, who did Carson pick? Sons. I got Suns. But uh, I was gonna try to make the little draft noise <laughs> when the draft pick is in, but I don't yeah. fucking remember it. Anyone got it? Uh, I don't want to try. There you go. There you go. That's Final Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> that <was so> cool. <laughs> I thought you were gonna do the Jeopardy one at first. Yeah, I thought that's. What <laughs> <I'm gonna do. laughs> That's but the NFL uh, draft happened. You guys happy with your team's picks? We made some good picks. I'm not mad at that we at all. We picked Devontae Adams. <laughs> we got our quarterback of the future. Yeah. How do you guys feel about that? Expanding the QB room. I think it's good. He's going to learn under Jimmy G because he's staying no matter what. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy the Great. They tried to deal him, didn't they? I'm sure they're still trying to deal him. Chemistry. They're still trying to deal him. <laughs> <laughs> We're probably just gonna fucking cut him at this point. Exactly. It's it's so like crazy. Trey Lance is basically starting though. Everybody no, he's, he's gonna bluff, start, bro. Doing. Everybody knew that. Yeah. That we wanted him. Like we What's tried to trade him, him for like a first round first. pick, but he got shoulder surgery and then it fucked it all up. And then a bunch of QBs well, weren't going arms, for that though. much. Hinder did that on purpose because he's trying to get his money. Well, if he gets cut, he gets his money though. Still, right? Yeah. It's like he got like probably like eighty million guaranteed probably. Some I think George like Kittle was talking about Trey Lance. How do you guys feel about that? He's talking about how good he's gonna be. And Jimmy G's got that Subway commercial that, you know, he's making Jimmy all G's that set, paper. Bro. He's got a sweet haircut, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, he's got that going for him. Jaw. He's yeah. got that going he'll, he'll for him. He'll be all right. He'll be yeah. all right. Even if Some team's going to want that. He's probably going to have an acting career, too. He could be like one of those Vikings. <laughs> Viking? <laughs> Viking. <laughs> I don't think Jimmy G could be a Viking. George Kittle? Or what is his name? Oh, I thought you were talking about Jimmy G. Yeah, was oh, no, I, was about, I thought you guys were talking about Kittle for a second. No. <laughs> Speaking of Viking, you guys see the Northman? Oh, I hella want to watch that one. It looks good. With the Tarzan and True Blood? And Hugh Jackman. That's, that's what he's in. That one guy. The uh, main character? Yeah. The blonde dude? It. Skarsgård? Yeah. Uh, Bill? Skarsgård. Yeah. That was the main character? Yeah. Swear. Yeah, dude's he act. He's fucking like what's it called. He's also that dude was Pennywise. Yeah, He's like six twelve. Oh no, that's his brother. <laughs> six twelve. <laughs> no, that's that's uh, it's brother. Pennywise's brother. Oh, they're like a trio. There's like a trio of brothers. I read the book, guards. bro. I read the book. Pennywise does not have a fucking brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, what, wise, bro. wise and die wise. What fucking part? Dollar wise, you don't want to see him, bro. What part of it is when uh, it has a six pack? He's hella fucking huge. <laughs> it, beating up little kids. It is the uh, title of the book. Uh, Pennywise is the name of the character which I believe you're referring to. Uh, well, shut actually, up, no, it's, uh, Carson actually, read the whole thing. He it's does. Alexander Skarsgård uh -oh. in the Northmen. Isn't it Bill Skarsgård that's Pennywise? It, yeah. Yeah, they're brothers. I, I just know he had the last there's name. There's a few Skarsgårds out there. Yeah, uh, Julian was saying there's a trio. There might be a duo on the other Damn, Steelers better draft them, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah Steelers a couple more brothers to the team. And the Hemsworth <laughs> brothers, bro. The Vi they're, they're Vikings, too, aren't they? Oh, they're Australian. Yeah. Australian. Oh, it says Bill's in it. But he's not, like, the main character, the dude I was thinking. <clears throat> But yeah, it was pretty good. I, I won't it? spoil it for you guys. Appreciate it. Is it in theaters? It or should be. It I watched something? it last week, and it was like the first week it came out. But some some people brought a fucking kid. Like I could hear like the the kids YouTube shit going off in the background. <laughs> it's like real quiet. Hey, what's going on, guys? It was, it's Carson yeah. doing the intro. That you heard. I was like, I was like, well, why bring like a fucking? It was like a three year old to the fucking Northman. Where Is like are. Why bring a kid to the movie and just have them watch YouTube yeah, videos the whole so. time? Yeah, I think so. I think it was. I know they don't got hair headphones for it either. Yeah, they ain't give At that least. kid no beats by fucking Dre. <laughs> no Raycons, no nothing. He's like hella kick in the back of Matt's seat. 
Because he's laughing so hard at our last podcast. Yeah. <laughs> All our subscribers are just little ass kids. Fuck, I hope not. But uh, you guys watch Everything Everywhere All at Once, I think it's called. Everything Everywhere All at Once. No, I didn't do it. I watched that too. That one was really good too. I, heard I think it was better. About it. I'm trying to think of what I watched recently. I think that one was better than The Northman. Than The Northman? That's yeah, I gotta watch that one too. That one looked really good. I won't spoil it then. But one one movie I want to watch is that uh, Nicolas Cage movie. The where oh, he's like yeah. where he plays himself. Pedro yeah, Pascal. it's like the unbearable weight of massive talent or some yeah, shit. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's got that dude Pedro. I like the trailer. It's got that that Paddington reference. Matt has to get it on that. Yeah. Oh shit. And if we look distracted, it's because we're watching a UFC fight. You know, we got to get our UFC in. Yeah, Cheeto was losing the whole fight and then knocked Rob Font at, down at the end of the round. Yeah. Last round and then did it again just now. And this is going to be Cheeto, play by play. Cheeto's my guy. What about you guys? I, I like. I also like Cheeto very, very much. Did uh, I say Cheeto like the cheese? That's post? not his name. I think it is Cheeto. It's I like hot. to it's, say Cheeto too. His first name's Flaming yeah. Hot, right? <laughs> Flaming Hot. He cut his hair for this fight. No, he's the jalapeno one. Jalapeno. The one? jalapeno Can't wait to see him at G.I. Jane 2. He fucking oh hops through the God. TV and kicks my ass. Kicks through your door. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... He's got hands, though. You don't want to mess with him. All right, guys. Is your girlfriend pooping the bed a deal breaker for you? I think oh, it well, is, right? If it's on purpose. That whole uh, Johnny, Johnny Depp thing Amber Heard. Yeah, uh, every time we get an argument, that's how my girlfriend gets back on me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a pretty big deal breaker. There for sure would have to be a limit. Is she like... Is it like my current girlfriend? Yeah. What? <laughs> no, it's Amber Heard. Amber Heard poops your bed. <laughs> She, she poops your bread and she's like, who are they going to believe, me or you? <laughs> I think she said that during the trial, too. They got recording of her saying that. How was that recorded? Uh, phone records or something like that. Yeah, do they have so much That's evidence? crazy. Like, it's so crazy. I saw there was, like, a video that got, like, 10 million views of their trial. It's so like, crazy that she's, like, like she's, like, shit. blatantly, like... A really horrible like, person. Like, what's it called? Um, Guilty? What's it called? No, um... What's Bubble the word, guts? bro? Like when Bubble you guts, yeah. when you fucking um confess, she's like blatantly like confessing and shit yeah. on all the recordings. Like it's crazy. It's nuts. She's a genuinely bad person. I wouldn't confess to nothing. I never admit to anything. There's got to be at some point though when someone just keeps pooping in the bed with you. That is she... that a thing that she did? They yeah. blame it on the no, dog, yeah, dude. That was yeah, I think like I think dog. she tried to blame it on the dog or something. Wasn't that like a that whole last episode in Always Sunny? Yeah, who pooped the bed? <laughs> yeah, who pooped the bed? <laughs> he said a hella funny ass word for it too, like defecated. She bean yeah. boozled my bed. Bitch, <laughs> she bean boozled. That's so my crazy. Bed. Forget the abuse, bro. That might be worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, and then she tried to blame him, like, because she, like, bashed his finger and fucking destroyed one of his How fingers. How is she so terrible? That's crazy. I think the story was that she, like, threw a wine bottle and it fucking crushed I think crushed they're, it both, destro- they're both kind of crazy, but she's just way crazy. Well, I think it's more crazy because I mean? he's, well, like, an Johnny alcoholic Depp, or something. Though. He's, like, threatened her, I believe. No, yeah, he's, like... Not he's, like not, he's not a great person, either. What are you going to do with like poops in your bed, bro? You're not going to threaten them a little bit? It's, like... They just took a picture. He was, like, really, bruh? Yeah. Bruh. We got little box bro. right right outside. Because they went to like text records of him texting friends of his and he's like, you know, threatening her and shit. It's like, I swear to God, she poops my bed again. <laughs> but it's like, um. I think how often it happens too does play a factor. Of course. If she poops. Like I, if it's like once a year, then it's all right. I think, I think I, after the I think first someone time. Who, um, accidentally <laughs> like, poops the bed is worse than someone who does it on purpose. Cause then it's like, that's something you, know, you know that they can control it. You know, that's if it's that, someone who's accidentally pooping the bed all the time, you're like, worried about. Yeah, yeah. was it on purpose? Have one of those dreams where you're going to the bathroom. Know. It might have been on the purpose. <laughs> I'm usually wearing a uh, poop catchers though. <laughs> <laughs> Got my depends on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I pooped the bed, babe. Like that's that should just. Yeah, I think at some point I would try the diaper before I broke up with them. Like, can you please try these on? But then you just wake up and it smells like shit every morning. You got to take them to the little uh, koala stations at the fucking stores. Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> horrible. All right, babe. We're trying to pee that would be hilarious if, like, Johnny Depp had hella, like, 
pictures of evidence of like the poops in the her bed. wearing a diaper <laughs> he's got them in ziplocs the like numbered. Yeah. she has like a very obviously full diaper <laughs> like damn you got a rash from that huh like that one gave you a rash he's got her skin it's, mark it's during, the, it's, it's during the trial you can see she's wearing a diaper everybody's like hella serious about it too oh my god They're, like fucking <gasps> gasping <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, what are those? the jury <gasps> Yeah, I think after the first time, I'd, I'd have a serious talk, and if that didn't go anywhere, then it'd just be over. That's fucking horrible. a serious horrible. conversation. Yeah. But, like, if you poop your bed once, you can come up with an excuse. I don't know. I don't like, my sleeping session. schedule, it's been pretty messed up. I know up. what my girlfriend's poop looks like, bro. <laughs> like, she wouldn't be able to fool me. For real? But no, he's saying, he's no, not, not saying, like, blaming on something. He's saying, like, oh. there'd be, like, a, you could, like, like, saying it's a cat or something. He's saying like you could try well, yeah, to talk your way. I put like, my oh, bed I'm once. Sorry. Like, yeah, what, I, what was the big deal? I was sick, yeah, you know, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's my excuse. Yeah, I was sick, but I think even with that excuse, I, I'd still be like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> You're a grown adult. <laughs> you shit in my bed next. That doesn't to me. look like a sick poop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty healthy turd. <laughs> so it's a deal breaker, then, guys. For me. And, like, they don't have anything wrong yeah. with them. Because I know there's, like, some people that, like, they got to keep the fanny pack on them and well, of shit. Of course. That's, like, for, like, no, yeah, you know, it, you can't control your bowels or whatever. If it was Come accidental, on purpose, <laughs> that'd be, if it was on accidental, that'd be the deal breaker. But, you know, if your girlfriend's if in her 20s. If someone's pooping my, in my bed, though, I might have deserved it. Like, it, it depends on the situation. Right? <laughs> yeah. I poop on so. my bed once. Shame on me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shame on you. Well, how does it fucking go? <laughs> Fool me once, we shame on you. Yeah. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Is that me. what George Bush once. said? Yeah. Someone, someone George must have w. said that. He's got hella George, it was Wayne Gretzky, I think. Poop in my bed once, and I get a goal. Poop in my bed twice, and I'm going to demo you. <laughs> but yeah, that's a fucked up trial, the whole thing. I think she, yeah, the whole thing with her breaking his finger, and then he was like, I play guitar. Why would I do that to my finger? Because she said he did it. She like threw a bottle at him or something. Yeah, she threw a wine bottle at him and it fucking destroyed one of his fingers. 20 times in 12 months. That's my answer. That's 20 a times a lot. Year? That's, a, that's a lot. That's, that's like, like every other week. Month. Yeah, that's every other week. I think after the second time is where diapers start talking. That's not if you haven't left the person. Are you talking yet. about accidental or purpose shit? Yeah, accidental. Accidental shit. Well, if someone poops on my bed on purpose, <laughs> I'm. If you let someone shit in your bed 20 times before you like, before you start to talk about it, I think you deserve that. Yeah, so we're gonna have to. I think that. after the first one, like questions are gonna be raised, and we're gonna have to talk it out. Yeah, and if there's like a valid excuse for the first one, and the second one, you, you're, it's something serious. After the serious first one, happen. I said that, babe, we need a talk message. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but then they're like, oh yeah, my stomach just didn't feel good. So then, like, I'd be like, dude. Okay, so then I'd wait for the second one. The second one was well, is when we need to have preventative measures. If you're really well, sick. I, if they said my stomach didn't feel good, that means you could have went to the toilet because my stomach just. Okay, so now there was one time. What you do when your stomach doesn't feel good though. You I don't. Yeah, toilet, like, exactly. You don't leave the bathroom until you. No, feel there was like there was okay one time sleep. for real. I just stayed up till four a.m. because I was like, if I go to bed, it. I think I might. <laughs> exactly. That's well, what yeah, a normal that's what person might amber her. Shite yourself. Some people get tired though. Some people just don't got the, the drive. Yeah, some people don't got that iron will that yeah, I have. The strength. The clench. <laughs> yeah. That sphincter strength. Does poop wash off good in like the washing machine? I doubt it. <laughs> wash off what good. Are you, you're washing those? Fuck no. That whole batch is getting tossed. <laughs> I was saying, bro, to run through that many pairs of sheets, they're not cheap. It's like $20 I think the mattress, the mattress is getting tossed. Like, you never tossed had an animal poop in your bed? You no. gotta have that protective lining thing. That shit comes yeah, out yeah, easily. Yeah. I never had an animal poop in my bed, but a my human. Okay, but but then again, a, a sick human. You know, it's not just a normal poop. It's the sick a person's. Sick, poop. Yeah, I mean, like obviously, like a sick animal is gonna, gonna stinks, poop sometimes. Dude. Yeah, it's gonna be fucking rancid. I, that's why I think after the first one, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna go a different direction. I've seen how like human shits at the parking lots in uh in Berkeley. Yeah, yeah that's horrible. in the By, uh, people, people's parking shit. Or in high school, no, when people park, poop park right next to the to toilet. <laughs> why? In the there's a parking for the ambiance there's a parking structure there. No, the decor. My classes. Yeah, I think <laughs> that's where I would the parking structure, yeah. like the building you park in there. Yeah, that's where I'd park for work. Yeah, work walking there. through SF, you fucking. So that's see where you a, poop before. Well, work? The frequent <laughs> amount of fucking human poops piss, everywhere. And there's sometimes a poop. Well, yeah, I mean, I feel like I never noticed that because I I know what I was getting into when I parked in Berkeley. And... Poop in your car. No, yeah, I I was expecting it too, and then you just smell it. And it's, 
that's human shit. Yeah, you just know. There's a there's a noticeable difference. <laughs> this person it's smelled a lot of shit, shit in my life. Acquired, acquired smell. It's acquired smell. smell to fuck. It. It's got like a certain age smell to it. You know. It's a certain. Well, this one's dry. This. You see. Yeah. The flies have all gone from that one. This person got into an onion patch. <laughs> got into an onion patch. So what was your answer? You said just once and you break up with your girlfriend? Your girlfriend. The one that you have right My now. Girlfriend, one time is all it takes? Yeah. No, you got to have a little leniency. She's on thin first. fucking ice She's then. The dude, uh, poop. Human poop. I think there's, there's no Accidents excuse. happen though, dude. <laughs> Yeah, there's no excuse. Why you gonna get drunk with that and then shit? Yeah, so. <laughs> okay, so well, I said same. she's got one chance. Same. I got multiple. When was the like, last time like you shit your drawers, bro? Over, like she's gonna get rid The of last me. time I shit my drawers, it's not in recent memory. It had to be like you know before I fucking gained so consciousness. So we get it. Sam's like a perfect ideal person. Yeah. Does a shark count? A shark is. Like I feel like it's more than poop. Yeah, it's got to If there's yeah. if there's poop in your pants, I think that's, it counts. Once the poop leaves your body cavity and lands on your pants, <laughs> that's that shit happened to the first for the first time to me like six months ago. How so sick I, were you? I knew it was gonna be like a recent. Ago. Ago. How sick were you? I was pretty sick. No, that's why it happened. He while was, I was healthy as up. shit, yo. <laughs> that, no, he no, took an epidural right before that. Over the toilet, throwing up. I sharted. When when you're sick, that happens. I don't know. Oh fuck. And I was like, I went like that, like, like don't react. You guys ever Let me like finish throwing up? First you guys ever like kind of test yourself to see if it's gonna be like a, a fart or a poop? You know, to see if you like you really need to go to the bathroom. No, I, I think as soon as I feel like I'm gonna risk it, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. I was, yeah, I think I, I just sick. go. I think it was like I'm not a gambler. Was three, the last <laughs> time I shit myself, uh, it was like three years ago or something. I was I was like sick, and it felt like a fart. I was like, is this a fart or a poop? So I kind of like, like kind of like you know. Did the test, right? And then it was a poop. And that was the last time I pooped myself. <laughs> um, hey guys, when we're, you're sick, you, just, you don't got the control hey, guys, 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 bro. Find out. Subscribers, for those of you who don't know, we're in our 20s. So three years ago, we, we were in our 20s. Yeah, 17, bro. I was I mean, maybe like what? seven or eight years old when I last we pooped We were in our 20s pants. when we... <laughs> Yeah, it had to be. Yeah, for I was me, like it's seven before I gained consciousness of my fucking everyday life. So like, I'm not embarrassed about before it before twelve. I was sick and I was yeah, sick up. is a is a perfect. I was still up. That's I completely different. Yeah, but, and honestly, it was funny. But for Matt to say twenty it, times I really a year, shit myself while I'm throwing up. That's hilarious. For Matt to say twenty times a year, you're not to sick. break up with someone that you like. Like, not even love, just someone that you like. I I genuinely I genuinely care about love my girlfriend. But if she shit my bed, you shit in my bed, then. That's crazy. No, if it happens, same with not breakup with Gladys. I guarantee no. you that. You wouldn't break up with your girlfriend if she shit the bed once. If once we talk about it, if I feel like her answer exactly. was justified enough, it'd be over. She what could shit like, your just, bed just, ten times. She uses Matt's answer. She, I was just tired. <laughs> She's like, I only did it nineteen times in thirteen months. You're really gonna break up with me? I didn't even meet the quota. <laughs> yeah. My ratio was like yeah, way like better. Say, was like, that wasn't in the, the roommate ratio. agreement. <laughs> but Matt said. Yeah, uh, fuck that. That's bad. I'm. Sh I hope the same. She holds the same fucking standards to me. If not, we're gonna have to have a talk. I'm. <laughs> okay, but to poop the bed, you also gotta be butt ass naked. You shouldn't be sleeping butt ass naked if you're sick. You can shake. I feel well, like I if you're just sleeping in underwear, well, you're hella sick. Like a, it's gonna fucking leak through, dude. Had, yeah, if you're sick. So then that's that's the justifiable answer. So you'd break up with her if she was sick. I, well, I that's think, the thing. You know what? If she was. If she was sick and sleeping naked, then yeah, that's kind of justified, because what are you thinking? Well, if you're sick, why are you sleeping naked? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because she was justified. naked and afraid, dude. What <laughs> I if mean, you're justified to, like, think about, like, breaking up with her. Yeah, I think you're right, but still. Because, like, what are you thinking, sleeping naked, sick? Yeah. Uh -huh. Be getting sweaty. <laughs> I get hot when I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> Take off the blanket. It's, it's either sleeping. sweat or poop, Sam. <laughs> You <laughs> sweater poop. B.O. or shit. <laughs> is like, <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> I don't know. Make, make your poison. <laughs> <laughs> sweater poop. <laughs> Choose your bio. <laughs> That's fucking horrible. All right, would you would you would you date your girlfriend if she sweated profusely every night? Like I'd... to where like the the like the her side of the bed is like soaked, like every night. That happens to me like. Twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> so we should be asking your girlfriend this type of thing. Why haven't you broken up with Julian yet? Yeah. She lived with me for a year. Her 30 for 30 is about to be crazy. 
I, 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 I think gotta it's become a, be a pro, like a good yeah. pro athlete. No, every, like, every time I'm yeah, every time I'm sick, like I had, a, I had that runny nose thing like a couple weeks ago. Uh, like uh, I woke up and that bed was soaked. Yeah, it well, you're like it's it's, Ew, it's a different shit. thing. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a uh, sloth in the. Goonies. He landed a lot more See, shots NFT. than him too, which is crazy. His face is clean. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Okay, maybe twenty times in twelve months is a little crazy. What What's your threshold? What do you that's, think is that's like a little the most? liberal? That's a little liberal. After what right? time that's are you lot. like? I mean, you would say something before then. You know, you would. After, after, I would after, say something, but then like after what time are you considering? But, like, up you, with your you like briefly mention it. Hey, so uh, babe, there's a by the way, there's a shit in the bed this morning. You get any rashes? <laughs> you just bring us some ointment one day. What if, like, what if we're done recording right now and Carson gets up and there's a sh- there's a perfect shit under him? Do you do you like not invite him back? <laughs> No, I'd be like in the shape of your cheeks, probably like spreading. Smash, you smash. No, Carson said he rolls around that long. I think everyone <laughs> gets one bed. free poop. I think everyone should get one free poop in his life. Well, guys, you hear that? <laughs> It'd be like <laughs> on the walls and shit, bro. And I'm about to get up there. Poop on the ceiling. <laughs> but like a perfect, like, print of your legs or something. Like. <laughs> yeah, I think you all get one free poop in my book. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, my brothers. I'm going yeah. to use that card. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have said that. <laughs> if if I pooped my pants in one of y'all rooms, y'all just would never talk to me again? I still talk to you. If you pooped, <laughs> if you pooped your pants. Poop I think thicker than water, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I like heavily consider like not talking to you ever again but i think it's just in your pants and not in my That's bed crazy. I, I, i'd definitely be like a, this guy's like a poop hitler bro we've we've puked <laughs> around no, each other a lot no though. <laughs> over poop yeah we, we puke around each other so much though i didn't no poop for you but you would think I, pukes right here and then poops like where like here but if, like, it's but not that the difference, if, if i puke in your room I puke what's on the your puke floor? to poop ratio i think it's, oh, it's, it's a lot more puke because i feel like if you if if i puke right now i'm not gonna just let it drip all over. I'm gonna go to your fucking bathroom and puke. So, puke is almost what puke is a little bit more. No, it's it's less gross than, than poop. poop's grosser. Yeah, poop is grosser. When's the last yeah. time y'all puked y'all pants? <laughs> <laughs> I can't I can't go puke naked. No, clothes, I talked I on the go... podcast. I did that like last year. Puke is very. Excusable. I puked my pants. So puke is very excusable. Why is poop not? I puked on not excusable fire, just once. Well, because I think you guys are taking it like out of a, 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 to a different context. I think if you puke in my room, all of then us I'd is, still be really upset. But all I, of us has probably puked in like one of our houses. Yeah, but one it's of not like else's houses. The yeah. thing is, if I was like, oh, I'm gonna puke right now, I'm not gonna puke all over Carson. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and puke. I think w- when it's on something like like that, then it's fucked up. Like it's something you could you could have probably avoided, right? There's sometimes you just puke and you can't get up. I've never fucking had a point where I couldn't make it to a bathroom and puke. I've always puked somewhere where it's, ex- where it's necessary to puke. Let me let me think. Okay, that, so Sam's this perfect true. person that's just puke. There's a puke, there's a poop anywhere, bro. Yeah. He holds it all in. We were in that car where I was fucking I had to hold a bucket. I had to hold a fucking bucket under your mouth because you're about no, to puke No, yeah, one over. time... I didn't puke, though. Me and, no, fucking... me and Carson tried getting out of a car to help Sam, and there was puke in the little holder thing. <laughs> we both never, touched oh, puke. That was, all over was, Joey's no, car. Bro. I opened the door and puked outside the car. Yeah, yeah we both thing. touched it. Oh, yeah. I, I, we, were, we were driving, and I was outside the car puking. And then, the car and, then, and then you got back into the car and started puking in the car, and I had to hold a bucket. Yeah, it was like mouth. it was like that Joker scene when he's out the window, but puke. And the door was open. <laughs> but puke. I vividly remember opening that door and puking in the middle of a stoplight. No, your your head was hanging out the window. No, no, but there was a time where I opened An the door. Officer the video, pulled yeah. us over. Do you remember that shit? Yeah. The well, no, officer, not really. He doesn't remember because he, he was. Doesn't, he just said he doesn't remember, bro. He said he vividly remembers where he puked. <laughs> no, I, I remember portions of. I remember we, we had an officer pull us over, and Sam was over there fucking gagging. Sam was like visibly like fucked up beyond repair. I was, I never, I was, yeah, I was never still holding the bucket underneath him the whole time. The officer just knew we partied is all. It was okay. <laughs> and then Matt got the seatbelt violation yeah. out of all If Sam, that. If Sam had a poop bad enough, all I'm saying, poop would have been in those pants. Well, it's okay, though, because when I went home, I immediately tried to drown myself. That's how <laughs> funny, like, the car full of white dudes and some dude who's, like, visibly <laughs> incapacitated and then Matt got the ticket. <laughs> I was the one without the seatbelt. <laughs> That's like, true. Get, the driver didn't get a ticket. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, well he was speeding. That's why they pulled this over. I don't think Joey got a ticket though. He did. 
Oh, he did? You got a ticket, For yeah. speeding, but I didn't have a seatbelt on. So they gave Matt a ticket. Yeah. How'd they know? <laughs> there, was four, <laughs> there was... There was four of us in the back seat. Yeah. Uh, gotcha. And I was like, guys, I'm the oldest. <laughs> jo- Joey's really bad at not getting pulled over when we need him not to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. All you gotta do is not speed. <laughs> fucking hell. It's a good day. Let me knock on wood twice because I feel like all this poop talk, I'm gonna end up pooping my pants and get dumped. <laughs> right now. <laughs> if I get dumped after one dump. <laughs> <laughs> one dump and you're dumped <laughs> dump and i just dumped. gave my girlfriend 20 19 free poops i'm gonna feel real salty i'm gonna feel real mad you gave her a little yeah. punch card yeah, be yeah, a punch card. <laughs> <laughs> that's what carson was saying you get one free poop here you, 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 i think you shouldn't have gave him that information First bro. It's free, yeah yeah everyone gets one i don't know i think that's fair i think everybody gets one is fair i think after the one i think okay you changed my mind a little bit i think so if the first one is just It's at least enough, gotta be one a year is okay. One a year is ridiculous still. Every New Year's Eve your girlfriend poops in your bed, you're gonna break up with her? Yeah. I think so. I, I think, don't know about that, man. I it's just not something I'm able to handle. <laughs> like emotionally and fucking Sam just went way down to my ranks on who'd <laughs> survive the longest in the wilderness. Well there's no bed in the wilderness. I can't poop in your bed, there's no beds. <laughs> But, like, isn't it a thing where, like, what if we go the skunk method so we don't get mauled in our sleep? We just, like, rub poop on ourselves so we smell so bad. I wouldn't use your poop. Mud. I'd what? use my poop. You can't rub mud. <laughs> you wouldn't use my poop? No. Get out of my house. Get out of <laughs> my fucking house. You wouldn't use my poop. You don't mean that. <laughs> you don't mean that. This guy's too good for my poop now. Yeah, what's, <laughs> what's up with your poop that's so much better than my poop? Yeah, poop his poop don't stink. Ooh, that's true. Let's give it a whiff. Stink. That's a Give it a whiff, is, is that our next tier list we gotta make? Ranking Epic Podcast Bros members poop stinks? <laughs> Re- read, it, read it and stink, boys. Come on. <sighs> I don't know, man. You guys told it. You said so both of you twice and it's done? Hmm? Not even baseball rules? There's not even three strikes? <laughs> three strikes I think here. at least you gotta do three strikes. I feel like you should learn after the after the first, first one. time yeah maybe the okay so maybe you don't know the first time the second time we have a talk and there's just a mistake i'd say three strikes you're out yeah or at least you're not sleeping in my bed yeah you can still be together but you're sleeping on, on the, the floor, floor. Yeah. yeah sometimes it's three strikes sometimes it's 20 in a year <laughs> <laughs> And then Sam, you're just one and done? No, I think I moved up to two. I think after two, it's like... <laughs> Sam's a one-hit wonder. I think I'm just with, with Matt. I, I'm like, I'm pretty easy going. I don't know. As long as it just doesn't get on me. We're in a tight ship, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that cavalier shit in my... <laughs> In my bed. That is pretty bold, though. Actually, like, who the fuck are you to shit in my bed? Yeah, like, you, who, who do you think you, you are? Think you are? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poop my bed because I'm a clown. <laughs> but maybe on purpose, on purpose one time. Like, if you poop on my bed on purpose. <laughs> oh yeah, it's over. Right Depends what I did. If I like, to get back at me for something. If like, I like wake up yeah. and I'm like, what's going on? And I just see someone pooping in my bed. Like that might actually be like a sweeper that she yeah. like falls in it. <laughs> that might actually be like the perfect punishment. <laughs> for what? What do you think? What do you think justifies your? your what, what actions do you have to commit for that I don't think anything can justify poop. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's like I said. This that's is what I'm saying. saying. Who the who the fuck do, who you, do you think, think you, you are? are? Yeah. Who are you? <laughs> I, I just think poop's too far. Well, what action do you have to commit for that to be justifiable? If you guys start Can't watching the a bed? show together and then you continue <laughs> no, watching it without me. her. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty. She strong. could poop in your bed one time. If she, if she opens up you and it's on that scene where the girl's being. Yeah. I don't know. I can't think of it actually because I'm a pretty perfect boyfriend. So I know same, bro. Michael Touch. Like, is is cheating justifiable? If, if somebody cheats, oh, do you poop in the bed? Probably, yeah. That's probably like, that's, the only thing I can think that's of. That's one of the more like tame. Wait, so what did Johnny Depp do? Wait, what did he do? I think she got was like she drunk or something. Pooped in the bed. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know exactly what happened. Oh, I could be completely wrong. I think I heard what it was. I think I know now. I think oh, on a podcast I was, I was never talking about. It was because like he showed up late or like didn't show up to a friend's birthday party. 
one of her friend's birthday party or something like that. So she shit in his bed. So would you? Would oh, you so it was on purpose? Her? Yeah. I thought, the, I thought we were talking accidental. Well, no, we, I didn't know if it was this accidental is a, or this purpose. Is a purpose poop. Yeah, this is purpose poop. This is a poop, a with, poop, poop with intent. <laughs> Premeditated poop. poop with Premeditated intent. poop, yeah. <laughs> just, just first degree pooped in his bed. Yeah. That wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't poop slaughter, bro. That was, yeah. <laughs> poop slaughter. <laughs> It was a poop slather. <laughs> slather. If you're slathering poop, I'll never talk to you ever yeah. again. Slathering poop is like poop a slather. I think. I think if uh, if if you're pooping in the bed already, there, then she got poop on my foams. <laughs> she's like, what if she's trying to make it better, but spreading it instead of dabbing? It, she's spreading the poop. <laughs> oh, you're just poop slathering now. You gotta dab it. You gotta dab. Pick up the poop first. He just tries to wipe it all out. Just a poop slather. If I spread it across enough, maybe he won't. Notice. What the fuck? <laughs> Was that a poop? JC. <laughs> I can screenshot this and send it to Matt so you put it on the podcast. No, I don't think I will. But he sends it to the group chat. But, um, yeah, poop slather, obviously. Poop slather's a media breakup, bro. Yeah. Well, I think. <laughs> that's fucked. But how, how much of a step is to be poop sick slather? enough to slather the poop with your hands? Well, that's, like, you're also assuming they did it with their hands as well. She can put well, on would a you, glove. A glove, or you could just grab anything. Use your phone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's better. With I'm that. saying, but how much? How much? <laughs> how much further is a step up from poop slather? Is just it's, it's purpose, a big step up. Purpose poop and then poop slather. Purpose poop, like maybe I deserve it. Poop slather, you're a sick fuck. Oh, yeah, poop slather is with yeah. intent. Yeah, you, yeah, you're. But, but purpose, no, I'm saying purposely, purposefully. Poop pooping slathering is, is like intent. cruel and unusual, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you're more focused you're, you're, on. You're going against the Geneva Convention when you're doing poop slather. Yeah, you're more focused on hurting me than taking care of your yourself at that point yeah like you'll destroy I, yourself just to just to get yeah. even with me i, I think purposely pooping and poop slather aren't that far apart so you and said, especially if i don't let me find out it's a barehanded poop slather yeah. too, that's fucking if sick. i see a fucking handprint yeah. i'm gonna fucking go <laughs> full csi yeah. i see prints if i see prints bro yeah, yeah. there's d there's full forensics CSI, yeah, on this shit. There's a little CSI. signature next to it <laughs> a yeah. calling card <laughs> <laughs> like i could unlock your iphone with that shit <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, pooping with intent and poop slather are probably like almost. I think poop slather is worse, but not oh, that it's much so worse. Much wor- it's, it's so much worse. I think they're bro. both this, on the same. Like they're both fucking horrible. I think if I seen someone slathering I think... poop, I would just run in the other direction. <laughs> you got to be crazy for that. Yeah, yeah. it's insane. But you also have to be insane to purposely poop on someone's no, bed. I mean. We've all cleaned to up like animal shit before. Like, but they're animals. Yeah. They're not fucking people who are supposed to have. Well, that's, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, we've all cleaned abilities. it up like a poop on the bed. Like you could, you could deal with that. You know, <laughs> like, to slather that's it in. Workable, okay. We can get past this. <laughs> <laughs> we we could have got past it, but you slathered that shit. In. <laughs> that shit was slathered, Your Honor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you smeared it. It's a poop smear. <laughs> Do you have the said foams in your possession? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing them right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> yeah, <smell. gasps> yeah, yeah. It's poop inside my foam. So you said she did it on wearing purpose. Wearing foams to court is pretty good, And then too. blamed her dog? <laughs> yeah. That's insane. Amber? Yeah. yeah. I think if I'm pooping in your bed, I'm owning it. Yeah, especially if it's on purpose. Like if I, yeah, like. Yeah, that's what you get, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I have to have that accent. But, but I feel like they were both like building a case against each other at the time, probably though. They're like, there's like, she's like recorded and passed out drunk on the couch. She's like, he can't prove it. You don't got video of me doing that. <laughs> yeah. It, that, that, either, way, that's, that's like, either way, that's Never a really happened. fucked relationship. <laughs> that's insane. That fucking. Uh, yeah, I don't know the specifics I, on the case. I just know the poop thing. They're both bad. Is the case? I don't either. I just know that everybody's watching it right now. All I know well, is I don't, Amber like, gets. I'm, I don't Actually, know about no, you guys. I've purpose. never had anything like even close to that in my relationship. And, like, I've never been that like, enraged in my yeah, life to where I want to poop on something. Well, now that I, I know I got really. one free one free pass. And, ooh, nah, because now it's purposeful. No, oh, yeah. well, well, no. You, you, you're giving me a card for an accidental poop or a purposeful? Yeah, you only well, get no, accidental. But, no but one now, he, now he knows that, like, you know, oh, I'm not feeling well this day. I, get, I don't need to make and it I'm to the a little bathroom. bit tired. I don't I'm a little bit tired. He'll understand. Yeah. I had to walk up all those stairs to come up to Zerun. I don't need to make yeah, it to the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom is right there, but... Well, that's I, what I'm saying. I just it, hit vape. I'm a little, you know... I hit vape. His thoughts right now is, I don't need to make it to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like you to make us, like, cards. Like, the one free pass card. that keep that in my he wallet. He stamps it out, yeah. <laughs> It's only it's like, one though. It's like, like, a, what are you it's like the sandwich. Oil card? Change. There's one fucking yeah. thing. Yeah. 
<laughs> try, to, try to fill it back in. <laughs> you, you won't remember. I yeah, think, but yeah, I pooped your bed last week, but this card looks new. This card looks new. He's got rock solid evidence. <laughs> God damn it, I can't poke any holes in this. I thought I poked a hole in it, but he fucking he got a new card. What can I do? I don't just hand these out to anybody. <laughs> Matt literally hands them out to anybody. That's what Everybody I do in for, the world uh, has one free poop. Yeah, that's what I do for Mother's Day. I give one free poop coupons. But you only give her one? So. Yeah. She has one a year. <laughs> what happens when your mom hits that hits that, um, that two? That two. She goes in a home. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's hitting two regardless. If she fucking poops a bit, that's a, that's a that's a two on your couch. But you gotta think about it. You like your mother. I mean, fuck. That's not weird. <laughs> I was talking about her earlier. I said like girlfriend. You like your mother. So you want to work it out with? The, yeah. You want to, you wanted to know it's okay. Like, would you? Would you ever? I didn't mean like as in like attract. Like, I know what you mean. You care about your mother. You would for real never speak to your mother again if she was slathering poop on your bed. Yes. Why would she do that? Slathering poop on my bed is just a why reason for me not to. Why would my mom do that to me? <laughs> you forgot it was mom Mother's Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's say, let's say Mother's Day comes and goes and you forget it. Does that justify slathering poop on your bed? No. There's no justifiable reason for slathering poop. She only gets one day a year, Sam. What you if we got it. Mother's Day? Yeah, yeah. She must she must like despise me to do that on her on her day. Yeah, that was if it's premeditated like that, it's not just because of the one day. There's there's building up. You're like, Mom, what you do you forgot, want? You what forgot do you want for Mother's, Mother's day? day? Oh, I just want to shit in your room and slather. No. Okay, Mom, you're welcome. <laughs> you forgot Mother's Day, but then you got your dad something for Father's Day. No. All right, I'm gonna I'm slather poop on your bed. <laughs> All right, no gift for me. Poop on your bed. I don't know. I I'm I'm pretty sure more than half of this episode was uh poop talk. Should we poop uh talk. should we wrap it up? I think we got more poop, poop talk, talk in us. I, even... <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even understand. I don't even understand how Carson walk. Anything else you guys uh want to say? I really just wanted to talk about poop today. Today's a poop day. Poop playoffs and the draft. Yep. And the uh, survival. Poops playoffs podcast. Yep. Let us know in the comments below what your poop threshold hold what, is. Yeah, yeah what's, actually, what's your I, limit? I, if you guys what's are actually watching this far, I do want to see what what everybody thinks about that. I don't think I'm in the wrong for yeah, thinking. Let such us hear things. your poop count. Yeah, what's your poop count? How many times have you pooped to bed? Accidental and purpose. And then slather. Throw a slather in there. I hope none of our subscribers are slatherers. Yeah, honestly, you should unsubscribe. I don't to have slather. any tolerance for you guys. You, you're, you should be in a facility. With other slatherers, you sick fucks. Yeah, if you made it this far, the secret code word is slather. Slather. Use it for 20% off uh, Epic Podcast Bros yeah, NFTs. Use, use code slather on um, MeUndies. See if that <laughs> works, I don't know. Yeah, hopefully we have that going. <laughs> I can't <laughs> legally that. say we're sponsored, but I can't say it's not going to work. It I could work. It. Yeah, it could. And then also try on game recepts too. If it works there, then you're welcome. Then you got lucky. You just called Slather34. Yeah. All right. I'm hungry as shit. All right, guys. Bye. He said poop. <laughs>